Kate Hahn with TV Insider, and we are speaking with Tisha Campbell about Martin, the reunion. I'm not even going to belabor it. Uh, yeah. I think it's time that we get into some clips of the first lady herself, Miss Gina. Let's go. <laughs> years I don't know because I don't feel 30 years older I don't know what is happening right now <laughs> <laughs> well how was it to jump into that time machine and step back into that apartment set uh that you worked on for for so many seasons what was that like just coming back there and seeing everybody magical. it was magical it felt like somebody was about to hand us a script and we were going to start work we we were laughing and joking just like we were kids again. So it was, it was really fun. It was really fun. Well, what's great is this cast, a lot of you have known each other for a long time, even before Martin, you had worked together. So you just, did you always have a lot of chemistry? We have always had chemistry because we've all known each other umpteen years. Like at the time I, I've known Tashina and Carl Payne since we were both, when we were all 11 and 12 years old. I used to see them in New York auditions and stuff like that. That's how we all became friends. Then when we all moved to California, um, we met Tommy and then Martin. So we all, we were all friends already. We all knew each other. Well, what did you think when you realized you had to play the perfect girlfriend to Martin, Gina? And you talk about that in the special, how you made some interesting performance choices in season one. Talk about that. Okay, so this is not my fault. Okay, I grew up in Newark, New Jersey, right? And so I, when he approached me about being a perfect girlfriend, I was like, well, what does a perfect girlfriend sound like? Because I don't think she sounds like me. <laughs> and so I used to have this Janet Jackson voice because in my mind, that's what the perfect girlfriend sounded like, Janet Jackson. So in the first season, I talked like this. And you can hear my little soft voice. <laughs> and whenever it comes up, I just cover my eyes or my ears. And I'm like, oh, this is so embarrassing. But I never even told Tashina that I was doing that. I just had that voice on. And it's kind of cool. It's funny now that I think about it. Well, the show really had an impact on the culture. You know, it really did. And people are still watching it. Younger people are discovering it now, thanks to streaming. Yeah. How would you how would you describe the impact of Martin? Shocking. OK, because we were just going to have fun, laugh, make it the show, hopefully take care of our families. That was our goal. We never knew that it was going to span the test of time. We didn't know it was going to be like watching the Brady Bunch or I Love Lucy and it was going to continue to go on and on and on. People called me and Martin and all and the and the show itself icons. And I'm like, can you believe they call us that? We're icons. We can't believe it ourselves. It's very humbling. Um, it's, it's, it's shocking to us, but we're so grateful that we've had an effect on not only our culture, but other other cultures as well, and generations upon generations. Well, there are people watching now who were born or maybe not even born yet when the show started airing. Yeah. I mean, that must be really exciting. So do people still come up to you and, you know, come up with some of those lines from the show, those yeah. classic lines? Do you yes. get that all the time? See, there were so many euphemisms that people still say today that don't, they don't may not even know that it originated from the Martin show. But there was like, you go, girl, a little something, something. Um, uh, damn Gina. Um, what's up? Like, there's so many, so many phrases and catchphrases, of, you know, talk to the hand that all originated there. And, you know, when we were working on the show, we weren't cognizant of how much people were taking the show in or loving the show. We were still, you know, on our grind and super focused on making a good show. Um, so we didn't understand the impact until it, it was way in syndication. And, um, you know, 
it's just it's it's shocking that people will still come up to me and go damn gina right my right. son calls me gina <laughs> no he does not really my, my son does not call me mommy he calls me gina gina can i have something to eat gina when we leave it for school gina and i just answer because i got tired of <laughs> telling him to, i'm mommy no the reunion special is so much fun for older fans and new fans to watch. So Tisha Campbell, thank you so much for speaking with me. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. You take Always care. Have a good TV God moment, honey. We've been <laughs> together for eons and eons now. So thank you. A long time. That's right. <laughs> thank you. Martin, The Reunion premieres June 16th on BET+. For more insider videos like this, click subscribe.